In this video, I am going to do Polo Gel extensions. I will show you a fast and easy way to do that. Also, I am going to unpack a new nail mail from Madame Glam. We will try Polo Gels and Gel Polish. Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. It is time to open up these two boxes from Madame Glam. I've tried some of their products before, mostly gel polishes, and totally enjoyed working with them. That's why I'm super excited to do this collab. And the first thing that I noticed is the packaging. Everything is so stylish. I mean, take a look at this box. It's like black with golden details. All Madame Glam products are vegan, certified by vegan.org, cruelty-free, 21-free formula, and palm oil-free. And also they have over 800 shades available. When I noticed this paper Ziploc, I was super excited because this is like the second satisfying thing I like to do when doing unpacking, probably after popping the bubble wrap. But unfortunately, it didn't work a glamorous way as I expected to. Oh well, let's try again. I ended up picking another strategy. I'm simply pressing onto this so then I can open up the box. And by the way, the inside of the box is also not that simple. They have these cute pink cushions on the top and on the bottom of the box, so the products won't get damaged as they get delivered to you. What do we have here? A brush, three colors of poly gel. By the way, I haven't tried Madame Glam poly gel yet, so it's going to be my first time. I've tried their gel polishes before and I like that they have this swatch on the top of the bottle so you can see the actual color. I also have a base coat and two types of top coat, regular and no wipe. Poly gel brush has this cute crystal decorations on it and it has metallic spatula on one side and a brush on the other. Do not forget to clean it with a dry tissue before working with it. Also, I have three shades of poly gel and super excited to try it. Every poly gel has a metallic seal. I opened the first color, which is called Ice Blossom, and this is clear poly gel, and the consistency seems pretty thick. As you can see, this drop is just staying on top of my spatula. So let's take a look on how it is going to work during the application. First of all, I have to admit that the quality of the brush is amazing. I mean, the shape is very convenient, it's like oval square, and also the quality of the bristles. They're not too soft, it seems like they have this exact hardness that you would like for this kind of product. Eyes Blossom clear one looks pretty good. As for the consistency, I would say it is rather thick, and this is one of the thickest poly gels I've ever tried recently. Next color is called Blush Peony, and yes, normally you will not apply the product like this, but we are just doing the swatch, so why not play a little? And this is transparent pink color, it's almost clear, it has just a little shade of pink. And the next color, Rose Pink, is a cover pink. I think that this is the color I'm going to use today on my client, because I have some idea in mind about the design using this dotting gel polish, and this color is going to look great with the black color. This is what all three colors look like on a light blue background. You can clearly see the difference between the clear and the light pink color. And the last one is a cute light pink cover color. Madame Glam offers a VIP program where you can become a member for $29 per month and enjoy amazing perks, such as 50% off discount, access to exclusive private sales, Shop the new collection before the regular customers. Enjoy free US shipping and returns. You can pause or cancel the VIP membership at any time. More information about the program as well as the links to the products and a discount code will be in the description box as usual. Now let's try the products on my client. We can see a little shine on the surface of the nail plate and her hands and skin is slightly oily. So I thought that she might have a little hyperhidrosis. I also noticed that she's very young, so this kind of condition is also very common for this age. But later she shared that she is pregnant, about two months, I believe. This is what I always do whenever I have a pregnant client. 
is that I explain that I already had some experience and unfortunately I cannot guarantee what is going to happen with their extensions within one, two, three or four weeks because I used to have a client and we did her nails almost until the labor but I also had another client and when she got pregnant her nails simply started peeling and lifting like all the time. We even tried hard gel, then we tried acrylics, we tried short nails and nothing really worked. She was coming back for a film every two weeks and still almost the half of her nail was lifting. So we just had to stop doing extensions. Meanwhile, I pushed back the cuticles with orange wood stick and then I proceed to dry manicure. Sometimes my students ask for special tips when working with a pregnant clients and honestly, I don't really have one. It's all pretty much the same. Maybe the only difference is that we need to be more careful. Do not use any harsh techniques, harsh abrasives and simply ask them from time to time how do they feel and if they need a break or to go to the bathroom. As for another side of this question, like is it safe? to do nails if you're pregnant? Is it safe for a client? Is it safe for a nail technician when a nail technician is pregnant? Honestly, I do not have any opinion of this because simply I don't know. Like I do not have enough qualification or expertise. I'm not a doctor, so I have no idea. However, I have many friends, nail technicians, who were working almost until the last day and everything was fine and the same thing with the client. So for now, I always say that I think this is the personal decision of each person. When it comes to health issues and safety, everything is so different and so individual, right? That's why it's so hard to give any kind of advice on this. I'm done with dry manicure and then I proceed to the prep. First apply dehydrator, make sure it's dry and then apply non-acid primer. I decided to use dual forms because this is one of the easiest and fastest way to do extensions and also for this nail shape one of the best shapes that is going to suit her is Russian almond. She also wanted to try something unusual so I think this is exactly what we need. Then I will use Madame Glam base coat. It has medium thick consistency. You can use it as the base coat for gel polish overlay as well as for extensions. It is important to apply a very thin coat and then cure in LED for 30 seconds. Pick the proper size of the dual form. We decided to go with the rose pink color. And also I'm going to use the brush. The metallic part is very suitable for picking the product, but you can also apply it directly into the dual form. You will also need alcohol. Now you may see a little liquid on top of my brush and this is alcohol. This is what is going to prevent the brush from sticking into the product. Do not apply too much near the cuticle as well as near the sidewalls. Gently apply it on top of the nail and slowly slide towards the cuticle area, but do not go too close. We do not want to apply it under the cuticle. Then I turn the client's hand around and fix the underneath of the nail using the same brush. The consistency of polygel is very thick and it is super convenient to work with because it is not running anywhere and it is staying at its place where you apply it. And it is very comfortable to work with dual forms. I noticed that in the comments some of you share that you have a problem applying the dual forms and once you turn the hand around they're sliding. So with the thicker consistency products it is super easy to do. But you can also use them using traditional forms or tips and the product is going to stay there. 
and this is definitely the greatest advantage of the thick consistency products then i cure it for one minute in led and we are done like i promised this is a super easy and fast way to do extensions looks like it's time for the most satisfying part of the service taking the dual forms off gently hold the client's finger do not pull it too much but in general they're going to separate very easily just make sure that they're fully cured now we already have this perfect surface all we need to do is just to slightly file and shape them and also clean the product underneath because we do have a sticky layer there since we are doing a fast service today, I decided to use an electric nail file and the areas I need to file are mostly sidewalls, a little bit of the cuticle area and later we are also going to file them underneath. As I mentioned earlier, it is better to not move too close to the cuticle area, I mean the dual form, because the product may slightly flood the cuticle area and it is going to be hard to file it all off. It may also be quite painful for your client, that's why it is better to leave a little margin. Even though we need to do a little filing, it is quite fast, so I start with the right corner, I use the carbide bit, then I slowly move to the cuticle area, I think you can see this part, the one I'm filing off, and then I proceed to the left side. And I always work at the forward mode, the speed is around 20,000 rotations per minute. Then I switch to the hand file and we need to do the last retouch. I'm going to file the sidewalls as well as the free edge. At this point, my client realized that probably these nails are going to be a bit too long, so we slightly file them shorter. Since I use only one file per client, later I simply throw it away or give it to a client. So I gave the file a 180 grid file to her in case if she will feel uncomfortable and decide to file them shorter. Then I buff the surface with 280 grid file because I just like when the surface of the nail is buffed and we're going to add a little bit design. Remember that actual gel polish that I had in my nail mail? I think this is the one I'm going to use. And also we will add an accent to the index finger. And once again, since we are doing a fast design today, it is going to be a water decal. I love stickers with a different kind of quotes and we decided to go with this one, take it easy. I cut it out, place it on the tissue saturated with water and then transfer it with transparent stamper. And then I'm going to use this eggshell Madame Glam gel polish. It has a transparent base, so it does not have any color by itself, which means you may use it on top of any color and turn them into an actual colors. And I like that this black particles, some of them are black, some of them are smaller, some of them are a bit transparent. I slightly move them around because I do not want to block them, the quote that we have. On the rest of the nails, we decided to apply this gel polish by itself and do not add any more nail art. One coat will be enough if for some reason you need more particles in some area or you just want to move them around, you can easily do that. I also like the consistency. It's not super thin, so it is not running anywhere, which means the spots will stay exactly where you just applied them. Cure it for 30 seconds in LED and then I will seal it with a no wipe top coat and since I've been using this one previously, I have to say this is one of the best no wipe glossy top coats. You can use it on top of gel polish as well as on top of poly gel acrylic or gel nails. Cure in LED for one minute and we're done. Links to the products that I used will be in the description box as well as my 30% discount code. Do not forget to use it when shopping at Madame Glam. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.